Okay, so time for questions. <laughs> you and I can talk to each other. Yeah. Uh, so there were uh, there were a couple questions in IRC. Um, one of the questions was whether or not uh, Tramp was using multiple SSH sessions. Um, if you were logged in as different users or using sudo between them, uh, that that definitely uh, uses like a, you know a second or third session. If you have multiple users, um, I just verified that inside uh, my shell, uh, inside of my Emacs session. Um, I don't think I'm sharing my screen, but it, it's not that important unless somebody wants to see it. Uh, and yeah, so so definitely that. Uh, as I said in the talk, um, everything I have is up on IRC. So if uh, you want to poke around and see, you know, how I've got my shell settings set, up, my uh, uh, various operating systems, um, my Emacs D uh, directory is all up in there, and everything is very uh, segmented, kind of by language that I work in and operating systems. Awesome. And you know, and and even though the talk was uh, Ruby based, uh, you know, I, I have coded quite a bit of Python and some other languages. So um, same methods apply. You know, uh, you know, don't don't get caught up in the fact that I was using Ruby. <laughs> um, other languages, you know, go uh, work really well, just going back and forth between your test uh, VMs or Docker instances or what have you. Um, says my video is still the thumbnail but it should be fine uh so i'm yeah i'm watching i'm watching irc uh i'll hang around um you know i, I know the the next talk is going to be starting soon so uh thanks again for for everyone for for tuning in uh, it's 6 50 a.m here in sydney so uh good morning <laughs> cheers and good morning to you as well and i think you've still got a couple more minutes at least uh -oh. <laughs> Yeah, we're waiting on our next speaker. Okay. Cool. Oh, well, somebody said they're inspired to try out this Ruby stuff. Um, yeah, so, so Shep and Inspec are, are definitely Ruby. Uh, in the question, there was uh, someone was talking about operating systems, you know, changing things up underneath your applications and your settings changing, uh, you know, uh, like, like probably a lot of the, the users I've, I've dabbled with different Different operating systems over the years, uh, you know, things like Gen 2 and Arch and, and Nix uh, kind of appeal to those of us who like hacking on our systems and knowing what they're doing. Um, but I mentioned uh, Chef uh, has another Apache licensed project called Habitat that uh, packages up your, your application with just its uh, runtime dependencies. I want to check that out. Uh, it's not written in Ruby, though. Um, the, the language for that is Rust. And a lot of the CLI tooling is Go, so definitely jumping around between our, our, our languages and uh, yeah. yeah. yeah I see uh, some folks are still using Tmux the screen. Uh, I use those for a long time, but uh, I got kind of what I needed um, out of uh, out of shell mode. Just you know, splitting my terminals uh, keeps everything in your background. So you know you might be connected to you know six or seven machines and they're just you know one uh, switch buffer away. Um, it doesn't drop the connections just because they're not in the core graph. So a lot of times I'll uh, you know if I have long running um, programs you know I'll, I'll no hub them to uh, but I'll keep the terminal in inside my Emacs and uh, and that way I can just you know tail f the the output of the commands. So even if I were to lose my connection, I'd still have you know the command running, but you know, you switch back to the buffer and, and there's everything. So um, it's this admin trick. Yeah, that's true. I uh, I don't relocate off my laptop. I pretty much only use one machine all the time. <laughs> so that, that would be an advantage of Tmux or, or screen. 
is you know detaching and reading attention. And uh, so there's a question: Can Inspect be used outside of Chef? It absolutely can. Um, people people use Inspect with Ansible and Puppet, um, you know, Bash scripts. Um, it's just a generic testing framework uh, that you know. It happens to be coming from Chef, but it doesn't require Chef at all. Uh, so a lot of usage in other ecosystems. Ansible, people really like it too. So, uh, question, other testing frameworks that's not Chef related. Yeah, uh, Test Kitchen works with uh, server spec, which is uh, kind of similar. Um, it supports BATS, which is shell based. Um, you can also run just uh, other test frameworks. Um, those are the three that I know off the top of my head, but I know uh, you know people have plugged in uh, Selenium or you know UI based testing tools. It's just a test runner. It's just, or you know a harness for for plugging in your configuration management and the tools to test it with and the life cycle of your VMs. So um, definitely very pluggable. Uh, you know, active uh, community of users. Um, it's all up on, uh, on GitHub and uh, you know, frequent uh, releases. So I'm trying to hop between the IRC questions and answer those as I see them. Um, yep. uh, inspection. Uh, don't miss Docker Tramp. Yeah, uh, I definitely need to check out Docker Tramp. Um, mostly I'm using Kitchen and Kitchen will wrap Docker for you. Uh, I wasn't using Docker for the demo. Um, I tend to stick with, you know, quote unquote, real VMs because um, the Docker instances, there are things that you can't do on them uh, where they don't behave like a real OS, uh, you know, because they're not. But um, sometimes, sometimes working on a Docker instance interactively is a uh, not exactly the same behavior as you know a full-blown Debian uh, instance. So I just kind of, it's slower. You know, Debian, uh, you know, in the demo, it took a, a minute for the full end-to-end -end, and Docker might take you know, five to 10 seconds. Yep, uh, shout out for Biobu, uh, you know, um, I tried to use that, but I was already deep inside my Emacs world. <laughs> I was already deep inside my Emacs shell mode. So pretty much any time something starts playing with my terminal, uh, I end up like you know sticking with with uh, shell mode. So like I said, I fixed it my ways. Uh, you know, I did try NC term. There was a question about that. Um, it didn't behave. You know, I, I fiddled with color settings. I think that was one of the things that I. I Sorted out uh, inside my uh, inside my Emacs configuration. You can find where I set all the, the ANSI terminal color settings. So um, ANSI term might be nice. Uh, it just didn't work for me. So keep going back to vanilla shell mode with a lot of Bash RC. Uh, for occasions where Tramp gets confused or locked apart from restarting Emacs, usually it times out. So I have had instances occasionally that Tramp, like, kind of just you know pins, uh, pins the connection for a while and sits there. Um, it actually, usually it's out. Um, it doesn't happen very often, but I, I have seen that. And and like. Uh, like uh, Tramps Comp seventy three nine twenty said, Tramps clean up all connections and buffers, uh, clean stuff up. So I have seen that occasionally, but like I said, I'm in this most days, uh, and uh, I don't see it very often. 